So I've um, just sort of recently come off of my MMO kick. Like I've been doing MMO RPGs for the last, I don't know, 20 years or so. So I decided to come out and see what games I've missed and quit MMOs forever. So uh, I started uh, with getting a recording of Assassin's Creed 2, because although I've played that, I didn't have a recording of it. Because I'm recording everything else as well now. And uh, yeah, I thought, well, no one, no one wants to watch me play Assassin's Creed 2. Didn't get very many viewers for that, of course. Uh, I, I guess I'll try Dark Souls, and I was surprised so many people showed up to see Dark Souls. And I can see why, now that I've played through it. I love it, it's great. FromSoft is such a good developer. Uh, so I even went out and brought the PlayStation 5, and we've got the PlayStation 5 hooked up to the PC, and then this PC is transferring to the other PC and out into the stream, and... Yeah, I kind of I kind of went a little bit crazy. Like we brought um, the Demon Souls remake as well with the PlayStation Five, so that's that's what's next. And I was trying to play them in order of release day, but I was told very, very emphatically to play Sekiro last. I don't know why. No one's told me why, and that's that's good. I don't want to know why, but apparently we're doing Sekiro at the very end. So I'm looking forward to that one. I don't know what class I'm going to play in Sekiro, but like every every game I'm trying to like also not use anything that helped me on the last playthrough. So I was using a shield and a lance in Dark Souls 1 and spells. So in Dark Souls 2 I forbid myself from using any of the stuff that I'd gotten used to. And I wanted to be a more all-round player so I got much better at rolling because that's all I had in Dark Souls 2 uh, after giving up the shield. And then no spells. Had to get used to not being able to throw a fireball at anyone. And so on and so on. And for Dark Souls 3, I'd never tried a sorcerer before. So I'd only played the two games. So we had a sorcerer all the way through Dark Souls 3. It's been a trip playing all this stuff. It's been so good. I think Dark Souls just rocketed to my favorite game I've ever played immediately. Just this is this is perfect. So let's see, where didn't I clear? Oh, except that I'm having to grind health potions in a lower level area in Bloodborne. I prefer the Estus Flask. Estus Flask is it's the best of all time. I'm not too sure about these blood vials. So, this was all a dead end. I guess I'll try falling down the bit and going the other way. Lost where I am now. I think it's, I think it's here. I want to go... I think I want to go this way, yeah. Uh, not playing Dark Souls 1 blindly makes it a completely different game. This experience is unique. Yeah, you can never get your first playthrough back. Which is why... Uh, I had a bit of a rotten day on Dark Souls 1 streaming, because I didn't have this, um, for the games that I've got in a different aspect ratio, because I've got, like, a ultra widescreen monitor, but, um, yeah, on the first day I didn't have this little note that I normally have on ultra widescreen games at the bottom of the screen with a space saying, oh, please don't spoil the game, it's just like the title, but repeated, like, as a visual on the screen. When I didn't have that, I had someone come in on the first day of Dark Souls 1 saying, you're taking the wrong stats, you're going the wrong way, you missed this item, you missed that item, that stat doesn't affect this, the best sword is around the corner, go right now. It was awful. Like, I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the game, and then there's some guy going out of his way to just ruin it all for me, and I kept on telling him, look, please don't tell me this. 
but then he would just tell me something else and I would say please don't tell me that and he would he would just keep on swapping like what thing he was ruining for me it's very irritating but my regulars now I've got loads of moderators and regulators that can just like uh, delete any messages that um that, that come up that are ruining the game I think it's uh you know got to find your audience of people that actually appreciate blind playthroughs versus people that just want to, I don't know, like backseat drive your game. I'm just surprised that the people out there that hear that, hear the instructions and then they just do the opposite. Yeah, I, I, I guess the the weird thing is that a lot of them didn't feel like they were doing anything wrong. Like, well, okay, those are the rules, but surely you can make an exception for me, someone who's just showed up and started ruining the game. Surely you need my help. Like the other day in Elden Ring, this happened twice during Elden Ring, actually. Someone said, look, you're going to need me. You're going to need to go onto online mode. You're going to need to join my game, and I'm going to need to drop you items because there's no way that you can complete the game the way that you're playing it. And I was like, well, you know, I, I have before, so I guess I'll just carry on. I don't really need the help. But they, they were absolutely certain. This guy just uh, wouldn't leave it alone that you can't complete Elden Ring with 10 bigger and not using summons, because I never use any of the summons either, and not using any online play, and he was he was so sure, but I did it. But of course, he, he never came back, so I couldn't tell him, hey, look, I managed to do it, even though you said I couldn't. He was gone, he was off into the void. But thankfully there's not too many people that try and ruin it. Most people get it. I don't think I had anyone um, try and give away any spoilers during Dark Souls 2. Um, Dark Souls 3 as well, I think I pretty much had my, my core people that watch and, you know, they know exactly what it's all about. I guess I had more back again on Elden Ring because it's, it's the latest game, if I'm understanding that right. So I guess there's still like a bigger audience for Elden Ring right at the moment. I'm not too sure on that one, though. Ah, these guys are a pain. I get to make all the fun mistakes with not looking up any uh, information. Like, I had no idea that you could use the gun to interrupt people. I thought the gun was just kind of bad, but at least something you could do at ranged. But no, it turns out the gun has has a function. But I had no idea for like an entire day of playing. So I think this is day three. It might be day five. I lose track of time quite easily. This is just so much fun. But yeah. Played, played for ages without knowing that the gun was useful. Oops. So I'm kind of surprised that maybe this doesn't lead to the secret area that I'm looking for. Maybe down here would be a good candidate as well for like a secret wall that leads to where I'm thinking of trying to get to. Let's try this wall. It doesn't really look like a secret wall area. Maybe this one. 
No. Oh. Down it. Oh well, there's not much more to check. I think once I buy a full rack of health potions, I'm going to try the electric beast again in, in the jail. This way to a save point would probably be up here. I'm not sure if I ever went down to where all of the different rats are. There might be something to that. I'm going to try for this side. I found a note telling me about how you can get to the jail back at the um, the hunter's dream after I got kidnapped. I just defeated like the regular mob that's standing in a specific place and then one of the squid men with like the sack on his shoulder just showed up and kidnapped me by just killing me in combat. He did so much damage. And uh, that's how I ended up discovering it. But then I went back to the Hunter's Jail later on, and um, they're just like, oh yeah, you can be squid kidnapped anytime you want. Which was odd. Because that's the other thing, like, there's... In the Hunter's Lodge, there's like four different places to teleport out into the world, and I didn't realize. I was just trying to use the first one, because I thought they'd all be listed there. So I thought I actually couldn't get back to the jail unless I had the guy re-kidnap me again, but then I discovered that there's like four different pillars that you can teleport out into the world from. <laughs> it was, uh, surprising. Let's see. Let's see if this person wants to talk. This might be the person that I rescued, though. Yeah, there's no one there. I sent them to the church. There appears to be a, a mad murderer at my church. I think I know which, which person it is doing the murders, but it's, it's too late now. Everybody kind of did. The new game plus. I'll not invite the murderer back to the, uh, the safe haven. I just walk around, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Like in, in Dark Souls 1, like I'm still telling people not to give me like too much information on Dark Souls 1 because we're going around again. We're going to do like new game plus of every game in order again. And uh, I in Dark Souls 1, I never figured out how to like create any of the special boss weapons. I still have all the boss souls sitting in my inventory in Dark Souls 1. Because the blacksmith menu is just like a disaster for upgrading things and I never found the NPC. That, that, that gives you any of the special item options. Like in Dark Souls 2, there's this guy called Strayed that I rescued. And that he's at least he does the boss souls, whereas I I can't find my Strayed from Dark Souls 2 in Dark Souls 1, even to this day. Then somebody accidentally told me one bit of information in Dark Souls 1, which I can't, you know, unknow, because he, he let the chicken out of the, the, the bag. Um... There's a DLC in Dark Souls 1, and I missed it. Like, I, I missed a huge chunk of the game, apparently. 
Whoops. But uh, I'm going to go back and find it. I am. Unfortunately, it's going to be like a a New Game Plus fight of the DLC. Because Dark Souls 1 just throws you into New Game Plus kind of immediately on killing Gwyn. Whereas the Dark Souls 2 seems to ask you if you would like to go to New Game Plus. Yeah, I do too. Um, I had one sort of... He's not a regular, he's kind of a bit of an irregular to the chat. But uh, one day he, he came on and said, you know, you'll never find it unless you just kind of like... Monkey spam everything everywhere. You'll never you'll never figure it out. Because I'm, I'm a very figure it out player. Like I think I spend more time with the binoculars looking around and looking off the edges of cliffs than I do like playing the rest of the game. I'm a real explorer. Like every every cliff is looked off of to see what's down there, what might be there in the future. But you know, that's just how I, I like to play. I like to look around a lot. I'm trying to read all the bits of lore and all the items, but uh, a lot a lot of it doesn't make sense. Like it's very hard to keep track of everything going on in Dark Souls. I really like the way Dark Souls tells its story. You don't just have some guy that's that drones on for 30 minutes at the beginning, and then when you meet the next guy, he drones on for 30 minutes. No, Dark Souls just says, look, here's a bit of information off of the tooltip. And, uh, yeah, get on with it. Get back to the action. So I do appreciate that. So there's a save point for when I walk out and buy some more health potions. But where did this go? I'm just going to refresh my brain on this one. Ah, this is where we, we walk up to church. Okay. Right, let's buy those potions and have a go at the boss. Yeah, I, I still feel like I was making a bit of mistakes about um, Gwyn and Gwyn's family in Dark Souls 1. But, uh, you know, it's like the, the Dark Moon cult or covenant or group in Dark Souls 1. I thought they were kind of like the bad guys trying to murder all of the fire people or the flame keepers. Because there's that one guy... The golden armor that kills your firekeeper at the start. We found the murder mystery there. So I thought they were the bad guys, but then I find find them in Dark Souls 3. And apparently the Dark Moon guys work for the royal family. They're, they're team royal family. So I got it wrong. Like, the way I, I read things was just not right. It certainly, certainly is a little bit tricky. This, no, I think this is the one I want. Yeah, to the jail. <laughs> I think I've watched a whole bunch of deep dive Dark Souls YouTube vids and I still don't get much of it, so I wouldn't worry. Yeah, I feel the same way about just trying to make do with the tooltips. I read so many tooltips and it's still a bit weird. I think I opened this short. I think this will take me towards Electric Skeleton. Wow, he sat there and figured out everything. What a genius. Yeah, I thought the Dark... I thought the, the Golden Armor guy was part of the Dark Moon because I got the Dark Moon ear off of him. But with what happened to Dark Souls 3 in mind, I think I got a Dark, a dark Moon bounty from killing an enemy of the Dark Moon by killing the guy in the Golden Armor. So it kind of makes sense that I got a Dark Moon rep item from from killing an enemy of the Dark Moon, but at, at the time I, I read it backwards. Is the guy off of this way? No. I just remember this. It might be. I need to go up and then left. Game having so much depth is very cool though. Yes.
like the um, the Assassin's Creed way of telling a story where a guy just blah 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 blahs at you. <laughs> it's so hard to digest, whereas Dark Souls gives you those nice little chunks. much like fighting these. I might run past him, see if I'm even going in the right direction. Ooh. Okay, so I haven't been here. If there's any loot anywhere, you know I haven't been there. So does this open the door? Uh-oh. to see if this is the room that I think it is. Uh, what's your healthy breakfast lunch option, Dean? Today, I'm trying out something new. Uh, I've had the first one, but I'm having one of these liquid meals that some companies are doing. Oh yeah, I think this is the room that I'm thinking of. Has it got two squid men in it? I'm not going to mention which brand because they're not paying me to advertise them. This isn't a sponsored section, but yeah. Uh, I tried an ice cold coffee caramel from one of the, the liquid meal guys. And it was great because I, I really didn't have time to make any food. So the fact that I could just drink a meal's worth of sustenance was pretty helpful today, specifically. This is not where that door out was. Oh, there's the electric dog. So that is where I want to be, but what about that other way where I came in through a door? It was my first time trying one, and I found... I don't know if it's because of the, this particular flavor, but it was really gritty. It was fine, but it was just really gritty. But I suppose you can't have a drink that's a meal without having, you know something wrong with the texture of it because drinks aren't normally meals that 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 was that was today's um i think this evening when i finish the stream i'm trying another one of them but they're banana flavor now i'm not a big fan of bananas like the real bananas but i normally don't mind banana flavoring like in milkshakes where it tastes quite a bit different from an actual banana so i'm hoping it's banana flavoring flavored and not actual Tasting like bananas. So fingers crossed on that one. Right, here we go. It's the guy. Traverse Nightmare Fog. I think I'm going to want my weapon in two-handed mode for this. Let's do it. Oh man, I backed off a little bit, but not enough. Here we go, here we go. Oh wow. Hot oh, damn. 
Oh damn. Dot Beast Pal Trophy End. Spark Hunter Badge. Nice. Nice. I wasn't expecting that to go like that, but I'll I'll take it. I think that looked like one of the key item things. Here we go. Badge of Friends of Archibald. We've heard about him, him earlier. Uh, badge crafted in secret by Archibald, an infamous eccentric of the Healing Church was, uh, for his friends. Oh, I remember how we know this guy. We've got one of his, like, electric weapons. Thank you very much. Thumbs up. Um, oh, yeah. Bringing out the dinosaur emote. I love that little guy. <laughs> it's just the way he turns so fluidly. He's He's got the moves, that guy. But yeah, we heard about Archibald because he's the one that makes like the electric mace that doesn't, it's a trick weapon, but it doesn't like turn into anything else. It just like electrifies. Seems interesting. I might plus it up at some point. Archibald was fascinated with the blue sparks that emanate from the hides of the dark beasts and dedicated his life to its artificial reproduction in a style of inquiry that, incidentally, closely followed the methodology of Bergenworth. Pretty cool. So he's gonna be he's gonna be like the science guy, I reckon. Whenever we find any kind of science stuff, it's gonna be Archibald that made it. So here's the real question: Does this go anywhere? Like, which door do we even come in through? Oh, so I don't think it's it's this. That's a gate we need to open. So I guess we came in from like this side, somewhere. It's also kind of looked like a gate from a distance, but it's not. It's a wall. It's a wall. Yeah, we definitely came down this this rocky ridge. Okay, let's go and uh, get rid of our 30,000 souls, because that's risky to run around with, and then uh, come back and have a look at that gate. Like, I, I even though I just brought this on a PlayStation 5, and brought the whole PlayStation 5, this needs to come to PC. This is good. I love this. Like, Sony need to let it happen. Uh, now that I've defeated a boss, maybe we should look on, on the shop. Sometimes I get new items here. Hello. Oh, it's the Tonterus. I, I like that they kind of add in weapons that you could have found, I guess. Or you might accidentally throw away. Yeah, nothing new there. Okay, I think we can just buy a bunch of level ups. I think I got a few new ones of these. Um. Meh, I'll keep my current ones. Can't do any upgrades on the stuff that I'm actually using. Oh, yes we can. Right here. Bingo. I might have found a new interesting gem. Let's have a quick look. I'll start with the triangles. There's less of them in that section. Attack versus beasts down? Oh no. But that's a lot of extra physical attack up. Yeah, let's swap that in. Oh, this is changing the middle one, I guess. 